This is Krisha Day of bizgrowthnews.com and I'm here at the end of the Future Focus event. You'll find them online at futurefocusblog.com, which has been taking place in Dublin on the 16th of June 2009. And I'm with one of the speakers, Ronan Lyons. You'll find him on Twitter at Ronan Lyons, that's L-Y-O-N-S. And Ronan, you and I have been talking about why on earth would an economist and a speaker be on Twitter? That's right, that's right. Um, well, I mean, for, for me, it's, it's about building communities. It's about finding new networks uh, and connecting to people who are subject matter experts or, or people uh, who you, you know are just one or two degrees away. Um, so whether it be on Twitter, whether it be on LinkedIn, um, if, or Facebook even, more than likely Twitter or LinkedIn, if I need to find someone in a particular organization or I need to find out the answer to a particular question, it's just uh, simply probably only five or five or ten minutes away. Um, so I know when I, when I worked for the IBM uh, Global Centre for Economic Development, um, I needed to get in touch with someone in the OECD. I wanted to get some data, I wanted to get in touch with them for some reason. And uh, I thought to myself, I've been building up a, a network now in, in LinkedIn for probably two, three years. Um, I've never actually tapped it. I've never gone to search.linkedin.com or whatever their search function is and actually typed in OECD. It's about time I did it. So um, I typed it in. I, I found out the guy was only two degrees away. And within an hour, I was already in touch with him on the phone. Uh, and for me, that was a, a fantastic lesson in the value that, uh, that online social media and online networks have for someone uh, outside of what we regard as the traditional adopters of Twitter or LinkedIn, you know, the people who are very IT savvy and IT aware. And you can see more and more economists, um, probably maybe slightly later than one might have expected, but more and more economists are using uh, formats like, like blogs, obviously, uh, but also like Twitter and LinkedIn. So I think of uh, Richard Florida, um, the economist, uh, Think of Paul Krugman with his blog, um, or Brad DeLong, who would probably not have the same profile without his blog or without his other online presences. And these are people that are beginning to show real value. Uh, and the other fantastic example I can think of is the Irish Economy blog, irisheconomy.ie. I couldn't think of a better test bed than Ireland due to its size. Um, and the, the wealth of, we're probably overrepresented with good economists in Ireland in terms of academia. And they set up this blog. And for the past I don't know, six, nine months, it's been at the forefront of the policy debate about NAMA, nationalization, fiscal deficits, all this kind of stuff. You could, as a member of the public, you can go on as an amateur economist, as a semi-professional economist, as a professional economist with the banks, or as an academic economist. You can go on and you can uh, put up your thoughts and your comments, your questions, and you can get some of the best economists in the world to answer you and more than likely will answer you in the day. And for me, that, I mean, that shows the fantastic value um, that, uh, that online networks and blogging and, and this whole range of new technologies have for something uh, probably as, as non-tech as we might have thought two or three years ago. In the well, thank you so much. You'll find Ronan on Twitter at, at Ronan Lyons and this is Krisha Day of bizgrowthnews.com.